The Sun is the star at the center of the solar system and the source of all life in our planet. It gives warmth, light, and energy that sustains all living things on Earth. But did you know that the Sun also plays a crucial role in keeping us safe? In this video, we'll explore how the Sun protects us from the dangers of space and enables life as we know it. Get your sunscreen ready, because we're about to take a journey deep into the heart of the Sun. The Sun provides us with energy, warmth, and light. But it also emits harmful radiation that can be dangerous to life on Earth. One type of radiation that we need to be particularly careful about is ultraviolet UV, radiation. This type of radiation can cause skin damage, eye problems, and even cancer if we're exposed to it for long periods of time. But don't worry, the Earth's atmosphere acts as a protective barrier against UV radiation. The atmosphere absorbs most of the UV radiation emitted by the sun before it reaches the surface of the Earth. Let's explore how this process works and why it's so important for our health. The Earth's atmosphere acts as a protective shield against UV radiation. When the sun emits UV radiation towards Earth, it hits the atmosphere and gets absorbed by various gases, including oxygen and nitrogen. The atmosphere also scatters the remaining radiation, which makes the sky appear blue during the day. The amount of UV radiation that reaches the ground depends on various factors, such as the time of day, season, latitude, altitude, and the amount of cloud cover. However, even on the sunniest days, only a small fraction of UV radiation reaches the ground, thanks to our atmosphere. One of the most important components of the atmosphere in protecting us from UV radiation is the ozone layer. Ozone is a molecule that contains three oxygen atoms and is found in a layer between 10 and 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The ozone layer absorbs and filters out much of the sun's harmful UV radiation. However, in recent years, the ozone layer has been damaged by human-made chemicals, such as chlorofluorocarbons CFCs, which were commonly used in refrigeration, air conditioning, and aerosol sprays. This has led to a hole in the ozone layer, which at its largest in 2006 was over 27 million square kilometers. Fortunately, countries around the world have worked together to reduce the use of CFCs, and the ozone layer is slowly recovering. It's important that we continue to take steps to protect the ozone layer and keep ourselves safe from harmful radiation. Exposure to UV radiation can have negative effects on human health. Too much exposure to UV radiation can cause sunburn, premature aging, and skin damage. It's also the leading cause of skin cancer, which affects millions of people around the world every year. UV radiation can also damage our eyes, causing cataracts and other eye problems. This is why it's important to take steps to protect ourselves from UV radiation, such as using sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30, wearing protective clothing, and avoiding exposure to the sun during peak UV hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The sun's heat is essential for life on Earth. It's what enables the growth of plants and other organisms, and it warms the planet, making it hospitable to life as we know it. When the sun's rays enter Earth's atmosphere, some of the heat is absorbed by the land and ocean, while some of it is reflected back into space. However, a significant portion of the heat is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which act like a blanket around the planet. This process is known as the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is what keeps our planet's temperature within the range that's suitable for life. However, human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes, have increased the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, leading to higher temperatures and climate change. The sun's heat also plays a crucial role in regulating Earth's climate and weather. The uneven distribution of heat across the planet, caused by factors such as the tilt of the Earth's axis and its rotation, gives rise to atmospheric and oceanic circulation, which influence our weather patterns. For example, the warm air above the equator rises and moves towards the poles, while the colder air at the poles sinks and moves towards the equator, creating global wind patterns. The heating of the Earth's surface also causes the evaporation of water, which leads to the formation of clouds and precipitation. The sun's heat is therefore a vital component in the water cycle, which is responsible for maintaining Earth's freshwater supply. 
the sun's heat plays a critical role in supporting life on Earth. It's what powers the photosynthesis process, by which plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and sugar. This process provides the basis for the food chain, as other organisms consume plants or organisms that consume plants. The sun's heat also drives the water cycle, which provides fresh water for humans and other organisms. Without the sun's heat, the Earth's surface would be too cold to support most forms of life. Therefore, the sun's heat is a crucial component of Earth's ecosystem and food chain. The sun's energy plays a crucial role in driving the water cycle, which is responsible for the transfer of water and heat throughout Earth's atmosphere and surface. The sun's energy heats the Earth's surface, causing the evaporation of water from oceans, lakes, and other bodies of water. This water vapor rises, condenses, and forms clouds, which eventually lead to precipitation in the form of rain, snow, or hail. The precipitation replenishes bodies of water, helping to maintain the freshwater supply. The water cycle also influences climate, as precipitation can vary in different regions depending on factors such as latitude and location relative to bodies of water. The sun's energy not only drives the water cycle but also creates wind and ocean currents, which help regulate climate. The uneven distribution of the sun's energy across the planet, caused by elements such as the tilt of the Earth's axis and its rotation, influences the movement of air masses and ocean currents. Warm air rises at the equator and cooler air sinks at the poles, causing convection currents that give rise to wind. The Coriolis effect, which is caused by the Earth's rotation, influences the direction of wind and ocean currents. Ocean currents play a crucial role in regulating climate, with warm currents moving towards the poles, while cold currents move towards the equator. These currents help regulate temperature, and their movement affects rainfall patterns, fisheries, and the distribution of nutrients in the ocean. The sun's energy has a significant influence on Earth's climate. The amount of solar radiation that reaches the Earth's surface varies by location, season, and time of day, affecting temperature, wind, and precipitation. The Earth's distance from the Sun also influences climate, with variations in the distance leading to changes in the amount of solar radiation that reaches the Earth's surface. Historical climate data shows that variations in the Sun's energy output have affected Earth's climate over time. For example, the Little Ice Age, a period of cooling that occurred between the 16th and 19th centuries, is thought to have been caused by a decrease in the Sun's energy output. Understanding the influence of the sun's energy on Earth's climate is crucial for predicting and preparing for future climate changes. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and other organisms convert sunlight into energy. It's a vital process for life on Earth. During photosynthesis, plants use the energy from the sun to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and sugar. This process provides the foundation for the food chain, as other organisms consume plants or organisms that consume plants. In addition, photosynthesis produces oxygen, which is essential for the existence of many organisms on Earth, including humans. The sun's energy is therefore the driving force behind photosynthesis and the foundation of life on Earth. The sun's energy is the foundation of the food chain on Earth. The process of photosynthesis, which converts solar energy, carbon dioxide, and water into organic compounds, provides the basis for the food chain. Primary producers such as plants, algae, and some bacteria convert solar energy into organic matter that can be consumed by other organisms. Herbivorous organisms feed on primary producers, and in turn, carnivores and omnivores feed on herbivores. The sun's energy is therefore the starting point of the food chain, and it provides the energy that sustains life on Earth. Any significant change in the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface could impact the food chain and the entire ecosystem. The sun's energy plays a critical role in supporting Earth's ecosystem. In addition to providing the energy needed for photosynthesis, the sun's energy also drives many other processes, such as nutrient cycling, reproduction, and migration. The sun's energy is essential for the survival of many organisms, including plants, animals, and humans. Changes in the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface can have significant impacts on the ecosystem, 
such as shifts in temperature, rainfall patterns, and the distribution of organisms. Understanding the role of the sun's energy in supporting the ecosystem is crucial for managing natural resources, predicting the impacts of climate change, and protecting biodiversity. Circadian rhythms are physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a roughly 24-hour cycle, responding primarily to light and darkness in an organism's environment. These rhythms play a crucial role in regulating many physiological processes, such as sleep-wake cycles, hormone release, and metabolism. They are influenced by both internal biological factors and external environmental cues, such as the sun's cycle of day and night. Disruptions to circadian rhythms have been linked to a range of health problems, including sleep disorders, obesity, and depression. Understanding the biology and physiology of circadian rhythms is therefore important for maintaining healthy sleep patterns and overall well-being. The sun's cycle of day and night plays a crucial role in regulating our circadian rhythms. Exposure to light and darkness affects the production of a hormone called melatonin, which helps regulate sleep-wake cycles. When exposed to light, especially blue light, the production of melatonin is suppressed, making us feel alert and awake. Conversely, in the absence of light, melatonin production increases, making us feel sleepy. The sun cycle of day and night is the most significant environmental cue that regulates our circadian rhythms, with morning sunlight being particularly important for setting our internal clock. Disruption to the sun cycle of day and night, such as shift work or frequent travel across time zones, can cause desynchronization of our internal clock, leading to circadian rhythm sleep disorders. Disruptions to circadian rhythms can have significant impacts on sleep patterns, behavior, and health. For example, shift work, irregular sleep schedules, and exposure to artificial light at night can lead to circadian rhythm sleep disorders, such as insomnia, sleep apnea, and restless leg syndrome. Disruptions to circadian rhythms can also affect our mood, causing irritability, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. In addition, circadian rhythm disruptions have been linked to a range of health problems, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity. Understanding the importance of maintaining healthy circadian rhythms and the impact of disruptions on sleep patterns, behavior, and health is crucial for promoting overall well-being and mitigating health risks associated with circadian rhythm disorders. The sun is an amazing star that holds many mysteries. It is responsible for powering our planet and keeping us safe. We have seen today how the sun protects us from harmful radiation, provides warmth, regulates the climate, maintains the ecosystem, and even helps regulate our sleep patterns. Without the sun, life on Earth as we know it would be impossible. So next time you see the sun in the sky, take a moment to appreciate just how much it does for us. Thanks for watching.